Chicago Med standout Marlene Barrett has been diagnosed with uterine and ovarian cancer. She describes to People the shock of receiving the news back in July. So um, mid-July, getting ready to go back to work. But I'm still feeling a little gnarly, and I'm going to explain why. In April, I had a hernia repair. So initially, it was supposed to be a simple three-month recovery, and I was going to be fine. And something started happening where I had this accumulation of fluid that I couldn't shake. And after um, returning from Monaco, I went on this press tour for work and it was phenomenal and came back and instead of healing, I had this accumulation of fluid. So I was definitely concerned something was going on, but you know, trucked on with the work. So by the time I went to see the doctor, they were very concerned. And when they did the imaging, which was a CT scan, we found that I had a, an ovarian and uterine mass that had grown, uh, quite possibly the size of a football. So right away, the questions about, am I gonna live, were the first questions and what to do. So I think the initial, the initial experience was a shock, a shock to my womanhood, because I was pretty quickly told that it was going to have to be a full hysterectomy. So I fell into my husband's arms. We found out we were together. And in between the shortness of breath and holding on to him, I just was, you know, I, I still have this experience where it takes my breath away when I think about it. The support Marlene received from fans when her Chicago Med character battled cancer on the show inspired her to share her real life diagnosis with the world. I felt a sense of responsibility to tell the story. And the reason being, I think that we as uh, human beings, when things like this happen, we hide away. You know? We hide away, we, we, uh, we're scared to tell people about it. We're scared to face uh, the mortality of life. We sc we're scared to pronounce the words of cancer, you know? We're, we're, we're nervous to share that when we have so much more strength inside of us than we think. And I've had people shave their heads on set to support me. You know, I'm known as the woman of faith at work. You know, I'm the one that I hear somebody struggling with something and I'm like, I'm gonna go to your house and I'm gonna go and pray for your friend. I'm gonna, so I'm known to be that person. So before people even found out about that, my character had gone through breast, you know, pretty severely. And I had this fantastic episode where I took the wig off and um, I've had a sea of women and people contact me through Instagram and social media that over the years I've just reached out to. And I felt like they brought me courage, you know? So as I was progressing with work, I felt a sense of inevitability to have to meet their hearts where they met me, you know? The mother of two credits her incredible family for giving her strength during this trying time. The best way I could experience it was to meet it. There was no running from it because it's my life, you know? And I have two beautiful children. I have a loving husband. And somewhere in me, you command your spirit to overcome the fear but you can't deny that it's there. But there's this overcomer inside of you that decides that I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna face this. Marlene is currently undergoing chemotherapy and made the decision to shave her head before her hair was taken from her. I did choose how I was gonna lose my hair. I didn't want to give the power to the chemo or to the surgery. So when I was told that it was inevitable, I took my own razor and I took my own shape and my hair was in the middle of my back. 
And my hair has always been an essence of beautiful beauty. So I had to do it and I wept. I wept, I wept. And I did it in front of the babies. So they were both in their high chairs in front of me. And, uh, and they were looking at me and I, and they were, and I did it in front of them. And I wanted them to recognize mommy. So I wanted to do it in front of them because they're used to mommy with the big flowy hair. So I wanted them to see, you know, this is still mommy. 